Alright guys, as you can see there, I just did an Antutu benchmark and I got 137,259. The scores for each of them. It's labeled as H872 for some reason, whatever, the G6. Let me see what the ranking is on like that. It is the 821, so... Uh, there it is. Just above the 6S, but below the S7 Edge and the S7, the Mate 9. Huh. Interesting. 7 Plus is up there at 184,000. That's, that's insane. Alright, so that's the N22 benchmark. I'll go ahead and run uh, Geekbench right now for you guys. There it is, 4 gigs of RAM. Oh, there it goes. Let me set that down here. Let that run. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. You can just fast forward it a couple of seconds or whatever, whenever you need to go. Alright, I'm just going to stop the video and I'll start it back up when I get to uh, the end. Alright, so I'm back here. It's about to finish up Geekbench. Single score is 1700 and multi core is 3685. Let me see if there's a ranking here. Yeah, there we go. So just below the uh, S7 and the Note 7 and the S7 Edge. It is above the OnePlus 3 multi-core. Ooh, that is pretty down compared to the Note 7, S7, S7 Edge and the OnePlus 3. Kind of interesting. This is pre-release software. It's only on 7.0, so that could be a big factor. Um, not entirely sure, but it might be. I'll do one last test of uh, 3D Mark, and I'll be back with the uh, when that finishes. All right, guys. So I finished up uh, 3D Mark test. Let me see if I can get up those scores for you guys. There's the score that I got for a 3D Mark. Not really sure how that compares. And let me just show you the info on CPU-Z if you want to look at all that stuff. Really? Alright, hopefully that's enough because I just got a stupid ad pop up. If you have any guys if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Peace.